elephant is in the igloo. Okay, so I've got my addiction sorted out. I've got my voice training done. Good morning, all class. How are you all getting on, lads? Uh, this morning, I'm just going to do a little quick uh, demonstration on uh, earthing up of our potatoes. So if you can see these three buckets of potatoes, they might look familiar. They are the ones that we sowed in back in March on the 31st. So today is the 7th of April. So could you work out how many days it has been since then? It was on a Tuesday and it was five weeks ago, last Tuesday. So that'll be five sevens is 35 and two days is 37. So we're five, um, nearly five and a half weeks into the into the growth season for these potatoes. They'll take roughly 12 weeks in around three months. So as you can see, they're doing very well. Nice bit of growth there. Um, I didn't add any fertilizer out into them at all, lads. So whatever I did in the soil initially, that's what's, um, that's what's feeding them and the rain that we've been getting the last few days as well the last which has been great because up until that point i had been watering them as well so what i need to do earthing up is i need to basically fill in more soil up to about there right because these tubers here these are what they're throwing out here if they don't get covered with soil they're just poisonous to be used as there be no potatoes or anything like that off them so there would be potatoes underneath already but are you're, you're trying to get them to produce more stuff uh, crops so the more they grow the more soil I can add up into it okay so eventually they'll be basically it'll be flush across there with soil and the potato plants will have grown up in the next few weeks hopefully okay it also gives me an opportunity to go in and pick out any bits of grass or weeds because they love growing in there as well okay so all I'll do lads I'm not going to go through the whole thing now because it's basically what I'll be doing is collecting some of this compost that I had some uh, manure in a few weeks back so I'm gonna bring that in put that in there okay I'm just gonna pack it up to about just about that height there lads all right so I'm leaving just below that stem okay so that's what I'm going to do for those three buckets in the meantime just have a quick show what I'm up to here as well these are also two drills of potatoes now when they grow up when they come up to about this height I'll be earthing them up, but I won't be doing the same way because they're in buckets. These are main crop potatoes. So these will take about six months. I only put these down about uh, four weeks ago. So what I'll be doing then is I'll be raking up the soil. Similar, exact same idea as that, covering up just below the top of the foliage, top of the leaves, the tubers, okay, to get um, a greater yield of potatoes. And it also protects them from blight, okay, which is a, quite a synonymous um, disease that attacks potatoes in Ireland which would so if we so i need to keep an eye on that as well also i need to do a bit of weeding here as well because of the rain recently <laughs> i just show you over here as well lads so these are some of the onions and garlic sets that we were going to um sow so the garlic is these ones here they're going quite well the onions are doing even better they're kind of large yellow onions and these are garlic just your 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 st standard cloves of garlic i'm not 100 percent sure what variety of garlic they are our strawberries are doing quite well as well. You can see they're in flower and there's a little one producing some fruit. So any of them that produce flowers will produce fruit. I don't need to water them at the moment because of the rain, obviously. Uh, I've always, already been picking at the kale and the, the red lettuce. And also we've got our carrots going very well for us. This is our beetroot going really well. And our scallions. And I flake over here for a second and show you what else I've been up to. In Gala City, you guys have got the, the brown bin for your food. I don't have that out here. But what I am been do, have been doing, geez, I hope there's no surprise in this yoke, is I made a, I made a compost bin. So I just got a, a, got a kind of cheap refuse bin, drilled a heap of show, uh, holes in the sides of it and around it and underneath it. I'm going to head it up off the ground. And probably should have looked at this beforehand. So... What I've done, lads, in the last few weeks, is I've any uh, food, like uh, vegetables, cuttings from um, or whatever leftover food, skins, that sort of thing, I've thrown in here. And I've also got this sort of organic compost um, mix that you throw in on top of it as well with water, okay? So that's gonna hopefully break down over the next few months, and then I'll be able to mix that in with 
with compost and I'll have my own homemade compost, okay? Probably wouldn't advise you to do it in your back garden in Galda City because you would probably attract some vermin, the likes of mice and rats and things like that, just to be warmed. But if you do have the space and you think, you, you, you know, you can, you can make compost being like that, by all means. And it's a cheap way of creating your own compost and also reduces the amount of waste that you're producing. No meat or anything like that in there at all. It's just um, green vegetables and fruit, that sort of thing. All right. Hope you have a good day, lads. Okay. Best of luck. Salon.